Hey, what's up? I want to thank you guys for the last video, a lot of the support, uh, a lot of likes, you know, a lot of controversy about that thing. Just, but it wasn't enough controversy. So I'm here to give you more controversy. Okay, look at this thing. Look at this thing. This thing is trash. This thing is a dump. But I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna untrash it. Is that is that is that a word? Is Hold that what? Hey, should I should I guys should I trade my untrash? We're gonna untrash this bike. Okay. What we have here is we actually have a 1985. Actually, here guys, let's check it out. Let's check it. Out. Number number 86. 86. The year my boat landed, okay? So it's a, no, actually it didn't. Um, so it's an 86 Mongoose. Um, some of you guys might recognize this bike. It's called the, the, the Mongoose, the Moto Mongoose, the Moto Mag. It's supposed to come with the metal Moto Mag type, but whoever had this, they, I don't know, they, I guess they did what we all did. They, they kind of customized it themselves. They threw away the mags or they put on some just, it's just, oh my God. So we're going to save this thing. So because you guys love the last video we did restoring, I'm going to put in a little bit of effort to do it a lot more often, including a bunch of other stuff to give you guys an idea of how you could take such a piece of crap like this, which I don't even know if I would jump into a dumpster and pull this out, but knowing what it is, knowing what I can make it into, that's why I'm here for you guys. So first of all, let's check this thing out. The frame itself is in really good condition. There's, there's no dents. Usually these old ones are dented. Actually, very surprisingly, it's not super rusted up. There are pits, there are rust. If you notice, there's a green tarnish, okay? Because this one right here, uh, if you can see inside, it used to be like kind of like a blue. It's not anodized, guys, because anodized is aluminum. This is steel. So they kind of had like, uh, I guess, trans blue. You know, the trans colors have been going on way back then. <laughs> the trans. Stuff. The trans. No, come on. Let's not get into that. I don't want I don't want to get attacked by any, any of them. <laughs> Social leave, justice let, warriors. Yeah, let's leave it like that. I'm not going to. So, so I'm assuming that the blue, you can see some of the chip right here has come off and there was some sort of like a primer over it. That's what that green is, so it kind of helped protect it. These things, they came nickel plate. That's the one that's really expensive. So this one's not. Comes with some like just trash wheels, guys. Trash, what is that? Uh, my English is bad, but but I bet you can't even pronounce that. What is that? Sovos. Sovos? Taiwan Sovos. Okay, yeah. These wheels are not, not the actual wheel that came on here. These wheels are actually newer. But uh, we're going to try to salvage the wheels. We're going to clip all these. These things, these spokes are dust. They're gone. Okay, I bet you're going to ride it. It'll start snapping out. So we're going to replace that. But the rim itself is actually really good condition. Yep, there's no flat spot. So we're going to salvage that. The tires are in really good condition. We're, we're gonna keep that. Uh, freewheel, really good condition also. Now you look at the, the crank. Um, this sprock right here to some of you guys might be like, oh, it's junk and all that. But I like, I like the vintage look and I think it really goes with this. So this one right here, we're gonna try to salvage you. The rust is all blistered up um, to do this at a minimum. Cause guys, I'm not gonna restore this like, thousands of dollars I'm going to try to restore it within a budget so we're going to try to soak this one also and see what we could do with that uh, maybe I might just just sand all this thing down and just put a silver paint on it but we're gonna see the crank itself there's some rust right here there's no rust right here so I think the crank will actually clean really well Shimano I don't think these are the original Shimano DX pedals. Uh, the DX pedals are a little bit smaller, so these are newer ones, but that's fine. 
Um, there's no caps. We're gonna try to find some caps. The caps are pretty universal, so I'm gonna try to find something to put it on there. Um, the forks right here, the forks, right there, see that? Yeah, you gotta guess that these are Diamondback forks. What I'm doing right here is I'm feeling this. I'm not being a perv and, uh, you know, it's our finger and Freddy right here. But I, I'm feeling to see if there's any wells. There's no wells in here, so that tells me is a is a machine steer tube. So this fork actually might be a really good one that was machine instead of all welded cheap. So we're gonna salvage this fork too on this, even though it's not error correct and uh, brand correct. We're gonna we're gonna keep it on there. Remember, guys, we're trying to do this on a budget. Okay, let's get to uh, the headset. Headset's all intact. Really good. Look, it's not even moving. So we're gonna we're gonna. We're gonna take the bearings out, we're gonna soak the bearings, this, the top and bottom, in uh, some WD-40 to get rid of all the gunk there. I'm gonna re-lube it, but I'm gonna clean all this too. I'm gonna salvage all this. Look at this guy, Suntour Stem. Now, there's a lot of companies that use the same style stem, uh, but, but this is one of the OG one. This is the pricey one. There's no, really nothing I could do with the stem besides give it a clean wash, but I am gonna throw it into the, to this the wash to get rid of all this rust. This, the, the, the shaft right here, this bolt. The bars, I don't think these are racing bars. These are steel V-bars. It might've came on a red line. Um, to be honest with you guys, I, don't, I can't ID the exact manufacturer because a lot of people did it. So, but there's not that much to be done. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. But check this thing out, guys. I know some of you guys out there are, are like, like into SEs, but these are original Stu Thompson grips. The mushroom grips, the, the Tosu grips, these are original. And so we're gonna try to see how we can take this thing off without damaging. Usually you guys see me, I use air to blow off the grip, but I think it's so old and gummy here that if I do that, it might pop it. You guys seen some of our Instagram where we mess around with that, we inflate this thing all the way up. So, uh, I'm gonna, when I do it, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna try to take this thing off. We're gonna try to squeeze something in there without ripping it and putting water in there. Kind of playing around with it. No, play around. No, no going the wrong direction. The wrong direction. Going Michael yeah. Vegas. We're, hey, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Who was that? Who was that that talked about my hair? A lot of people. No, there was a guy that said it is. I know, I know he was. Because I started the joking. rumor. <laughs> but guess what, guys? Guess what? That's what makes this authentic. Look at this. I don't have to get spruce up. This is real time, man. Okay, there's no studio here. All right, so lay off the hair, man. But um, but these are real cool. I'm gonna try to salvage. I'm gonna try to put a little bit of some soap and water in this to clean this thing off. Uh, another really cool feature is the brakes. These are all the original MX. Original one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, it's it's still you can you guys can see it still works really good that tells me the cable itself is still good full and smooth so we're gonna keep all this guys believe it or not we're gonna keep this this brake system right here has probably been on here for like 30 years but look at it it's still good so i'm gonna pull this thing apart i'm gonna clean up the ends i'm gonna loop this thing up i'm gonna make this this brake work like it's new now you look at the seat clamp. The seat clamp is a little bit newer. Some of you guys might be, oh, that's the good stuff. Yes, guys, during around that same time, a little bit newer than that, uh, maybe a year or two, GT put this onto their performers and pro freestyler. But you know what, that's fine. That doesn't make this wrong. I think that's dope. An authentic GT layback seat post. Some of you guys might like, hell, I'll trade you. You know what, again, we're taking this heap, this heap right here, and we're gonna try to keep as much of the parts on there as much as possible. And we're gonna try to restore it on the budget and try to make this thing look good. Try to make it rollable, okay, with spending the least amount of money, okay, guys? See, it's just a basically a, like a Dominator style seat, still good. It looks like after, after I walk through it, it doesn't seem like it's that, that big of a pile of garbage. It just needs a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of TLC, you know, we're gonna chase some of that waterfall. All right? Good. What? What? Just cut it. Cut what? <laughs> TLC Big, waterfall. This, this was a little. You, you don't remember yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, come on. Uh, 
But yeah, I think I think um, this is gonna make a really good clean. You guys are gonna be shocked on how clean this thing's gonna look and how little amount of money we uh, we spent on it. Your favorite? Okay. What? A little bit of money? No, no. A lot of money is my favorite. Spending little money. Well, like like small, small or big bills. <laughs> okay. Why don't you let, just let me be me, man? <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Stay tuned. And we're going to do uh, the tear down and uh, soaking of it and all that. And then the reassembly. And I'll have a list of the parts and how much it costs. But you got to be surprised. Why don't you guys leave a comment on what you guys think would cost to restore this. Uh, remember, I'm not. Re I'm replacing as minimal amount of parts possible. We're going to restore it to get this clean, make it look like it's not garbage, look like it's actually a bike. How much you guys think this is gonna cost me? Let's see, you guys might be really surprised. Okay guys, thank you for tuning in. And hey, if I pedal fast enough, put a basket on it, you think I could? E.T. E.T. this Easily. thing? E.T. You guys are the same height Woo! and color. <laughs>